right, so this is, I ain't got but a couple few traps set now as I'm working on getting, getting things set back out. But, <clears throat> we got a catch. It was kind of puzzling me because I hadn't had any activity yet, but put in a, put in a dive set with a conner bear right here in this creek channel. Lo and behold, whew, that's a nice, yeah, that's a, Nice big beaver caught perfectly in that. I'll show you how I remake this dive set. It's just this little old creek channel coming out of this pond. And there's a deep spot. It gets shallow the farther back you go, but it's pretty deep right here. And I just put the put the trap right dead center. Put some limbs over top of it to force them to dive. And uh, it was like a ready-made ready -made dive set. And it worked. So here's my dive set remade. You can see my trap, it's not under, but a couple inches of water. Um, you know, it's just under the surface, this water's murky, so you can't see. But uh, I've got this sitting on top. So, I'm going to give the beaver a natural inclination to dive to get under. Um, and anytime I'm using conibears, I like, if I'm using them for beavers, I like to get that conibear under the water just so that there's no concern, no issue of them, you know, balking at at uh, internet or going through it. So simple and easy to do. You can use fencing if you need to. I've got a I've got a stick stuck right here just to make sure. I don't think that's big enough for anything to go through anyway, but just to make sure. And then I got this log kind of sitting here to discourage anything. So the best spot for that beaver to get from here to there is going to be to go under there. Also, I've got it staked out on my rebar. That's an important thing. If you're using conna bears, you know, they're supposed to be killer style traps. So it seems like you wouldn't necessarily need to stake it. But you definitely do. I mean, as soon as that beaver gets caught, he's still going to kick a little bit. And, uh, you know, if you don't get a perfect catch, if you get a tail or a, uh, you know, back half instead of the front half, you got to have that trap staked or else you're going to lose the trap and your catch. So don't overlook that. And the, the, the conibear bear stand does not suffice for staking because that thing's going to pull up. That's one of the nice things about this conibear bear stand is I can ride by 30 yards away and I can see if that, if that stand's still standing. I don't have a catch. I don't even have to worry about it. But if that thing is knocked over, I know I got a catch. So we're doing good.